Hi friends, Miss S with your second grade read aloud. Sending you guys lots of love and hugs. I miss you all so much and I'm thinking about you guys every day. And I'm so happy to see you guys engaging in Google Classroom. So make sure you're continuing to watch our videos and taking pictures of yourselves and sending those to your teachers. We love to get those. So our text that we're working with today is the same text we've been using the last few days, which is good enough to eat. And make sure that if you did not watch uh, the read aloud for this the last couple days that you are referring to the video above and watching that one so you're all caught up with us on this text. And then our skill of the day that we're practicing that we haven't practiced in a while so I'm really excited to do it today with you is using special text to find information. So remember special text in a book is text features like captions and labels, especially in the pictures that give us more information about a text, especially nonfiction text. So we're going to make sure we're following our steps when we do that. And I'm going to show you how I do it first with our first question. So here we have our first question. What does special text teach you about vitamin C? on page 19. What does special text teach you about vitamin C on page 19? So of course we're going to flip to page 19 first just to refresh ourselves of what happens on this page. So here I'm just going to read the text up top first. Vitamins and minerals are needed in tiny amounts to perform many important jobs in your body. They help all the nutrients and food work together. And here we have our pictures and our captions. This one says, vitamin C helps my skin heal. Vitamin C is found in, and then it shows us pictures of foods that have vitamin C. And then this caption says, with help of vitamin A, I can see well even in the dark. And then here we have vitamin A found in, and then all the foods that have vitamin A. So jumping right into our steps to help me follow, excuse me, to help me answer this question. Step one, what do you want to learn? So looking at this question, once again, we know that what we want to learn in this section is all about vitamin C, because that's what the question is asking us about, right? So that's an easy one, vitamin C. Step two, look for keywords and captions and labels. So of course, as I mentioned before, special text is captions and labels in a text. Whoops, just lost the page. So we're gonna take a close look at our captions and labels and see what, what information we can find out about vitamin C. So up here, I read about vitamins and minerals. I'm skimming up here. I don't see anything about vitamin C. I see things about vitamins, but not specifically vitamin C. So we can keep moving on. And then here, oh, there I spot vitamin C found in. And then we see the foods that vitamin C is found in. And then looking up top here at this caption, I see vitamin C helps my skin heal. So I know that vitamin C is going to be a key word that we're looking for, and we I see the words vitamin C right there twice. So I know that those two parts of our special text will give us information that will help us answer our question. So going into step three, read to find the answer to your, to your question. Looking back once more at our question, what special, excuse me, what does what does the special text teach you about vitamin C on page 19? What the special text teach me about vitamin C on page 19 is one that vitamin C helps my skin to heal and that vitamin C is found in foods like tomatoes, oranges, peppers, strawberries, and other foods like that. So that's how I was able to look at my special text to help me answer my question. And now, friends, I'll need your help to answer this next question for me. Our next question is, what does the special text on page 21 teach you about iron? 
What does the special text on page 21 teach you about iron? So of course we had to follow our steps. Step one, what do you want to learn? Looking back at our question, friends, what do we want to learn about? I'm going to give you a few seconds. What do we want to learn about based on our question? I'll give you a clue. It starts with an I. Go ahead and shout it out. Yes, Kipsters, we want to learn about iron. That is what the question is asking us about. That is what we want to learn about in our special text. Step two, look for keywords in captions and labels. So of course we have to go to page 21 to answer this part. So here at the top, I see minerals are tiny particles of rock and metal. And then right here, oh, look at that. I see the word iron. It says that iron is found in foods cooked in iron pants. So steak, eggs, some leafy greens. And then up here in the speech bubble, it says that iron helps build red blood cells, which bring oxygen to my brain, heart, and muscles. So that's the key word I looked for, friends. I looked for the word iron because that's what the question is asking me for. It's asking me information about iron. So that's the key word I looked for, and I found it twice in this special text. Going into step three, read to find the answer to your question. So once again, our question, what does the special text on page 21 teach you about iron? I want you guys to answer this for me. Let's see who can do it. What does this special text teach me about iron? Look carefully at the special text. What does it teach you about iron? As you guys start to see in the text, go ahead and shout it out. What does it help our bodies do? What foods is it found in? What do you guys think? All right, friends, I would say that iron, what this special text teaches me about iron is that iron helps build red blood cells, which bring oxygen to my brain, my heart, and my muscles. And iron is also found in foods like steak, eggs, and some leafy greens. So that's how the special text on this page helped us learn about iron. All right, friends, now it's your turn to scroll down to our Google Classroom question. And get ready to listen to me read it so that you can answer. All right, friends, the question is, what does the special text on this page teach you about nutrients? I'm going to read some of our special text here. So this says carbohydrates, they supply the main source of energy. Protein supplies energy and builds muscle, skin, and internal organs. And here, fat supplies energy and adds flavor to foods. Here we're listing how many carbohydrates, how much protein, how much fat we have every single day. And this boy says, you need about this much of each nutrient a day. This girl says, nutrient is, nutri excuse me, <laughs> nutrition is the science of food. And he says, science doesn't look as yummy as my dinner. So he's kind of making a joke here. All right, friends, one more time. The question is, what does the special text on this page teach you about nutrients? A, you need 300 grams of carbohydrates, 30 grams of protein, and 60 grams of fat every day. B, it's more important to eat carbohydrates than fat. C, if you eat more protein than carbohydrates in a day, you are considered a very unhealthy person. D, nutrition is not considered science in some countries.
All right, second graders, looking forward to seeing your responses and see you guys tomorrow.